Yo, so for this video, I wanted to show everyone how to leverage the Async Explorer tool, which is super, super cool. Uh, I highly recommend checking it out. It's at explorer.async.co. Um, and yeah, we can use this tool to kind of view the Lightning Network and find out about nodes that we may not be aware of and how to add them to our contacts list is what we're going to go over right now. Um, so here we can see that there's 791 nodes, 2,917 channels that this explorer is aware of. And on the right here, we can get a list. Uh, this is the alias, which is kind of like a nickname, you can say. Uh, and then the amount of channels that they're connected with here. right? So we can scroll through this and even filter down. Um, but let's find one. Uh, let's do this Pike Floyd. There's nine channels. That's a fairly well-connected node. Um, so what I want to demo here is the zap search feature in the ad form so I can go to my contacts list uh, and just click add and then what I can do is search by that alias or public key so I'm going to search Pike and then we see that it actually finds the node that you know I'm looking for so then we just have to make sure that we set exactly how much Bitcoin we want to commit to this contact so I'll do 0 0.05 uh, and then I can just click connect so it's spinning and this is a really really simple and easy way to add nodes to your contacts list and be more well connected throughout the lightning network so it's loading let's hope for a successful addition and there we go uh, Pink Pike Floyd, excuse me, Pink Floyd. <laughs> Pike Floyd is now a pending contact, so I can close out of here, um, and let's filter to our pending contact. So I have one pending contact now with Pike Floyd, and uh, boom, that was really easy. A way to leverage the Async Explorer and the Zap contacts list to easily search and add nodes to your contact list. So cool. I hope you thought that was helpful.